हेलो वेलकम बैक टू होम स्कूल दिस इज यर क्लास टेन मैथमेटिक्स वी आर इन रिविजन शेड्यूल ऑफ मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन इन मैथमेटिक्स वी आर डीलिंग विद थियरम्स एंड दीज थियरम्स आर फ्रॉम ट्राइंगल्स चैप्टर एंड द नेक्स्ट थियरम फॉर टूडे सेशन इज एरिया ऑफ सिमिलर ट्राइंगल्स स्टेटमेंट द रेशियो ऑफ एरिया ऑफ टू सिमिलर ट्राइंगल्स is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides easily how can we remember this observe the two triangles abc pqr okay uh, let me leave here space for data okay and here to prove now while reading the statement understand what i write here the ratio of the ratio of right the ratio of areas of two similar triangles what are the two triangles abc and pqr area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr once again the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to is equal to square of the ratio is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides once again try to understand the statement easily without by hurting anything the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides which side you are going to take ab corresponding ab is corresponding to pq ab by pq whole square or you can write any other side bc bc is corresponding to qr and one more side ca ca corresponding to rp whole square yes you are going to say the statement along with me the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides this is about your statement and the two triangles are abc and pqr data given two triangles are similar that only right here given triangle abc similar to triangle pqr triangle abc similar to triangle pqr to prove area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr is equal to write all three corresponding sides ratio whole square now construction do we need any construction yes let me draw a perpendicular am and from here also perpendicular pn draw am perpendicular to bc and pn perpendicular to qr draw am perpendicular to bc pn perpendicular to qr proof while proving this theorem i am going to inform you about the three steps if you remember easily you can prove this theorem what are the three steps first step children what do you have area right find area of this triangle and area of this triangle divide you are going to get something mark it first equation and second take only part of a triangle from this and this that is triangle abm and triangle pqn prove the two triangles similar and then their ratios are in proportion mark it second equation coming to your third given the two triangles are similar if they are similar the ratios are in proportion write those all ratios equal and mark it third equation then after these three steps take again first equation what you have written and go on substituting we are going to prove this theorem proof while well, starting proof take two columns statement reason now uh, in triangle abc and q 
triangle PQR. I'm going to consider these two triangles, right? And now uh, area, area of triangle ABC is equal to, what is area of a triangle ABC? Half into base into height. So here half into base BC, height AM, right? That only right here, half into base of this triangle is BC, height of the triangle is AM, okay? Consider another triangle, area of triangle PQR is equal to half into, for another triangle base is QR, height, what is the perpendicular you can see? PN. Right? Now we are next step divide these two. Divide these two means right same as it is. Area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to half into BC into AM by half into QR into PN. Half, half cancel. Then what you get here? Split the ratio as it is. That means BC by QR into AM by PN. And mark this first equation. Your yeah, first step is completed. Coming to your next step. Consider. Consider this triangle. Can you see this? ABM and PQN. Consider triangle A, M, B and triangle P, N, Q. Now compare those two triangles. I can see that the two triangles are similar. Then their corresponding angles are equal. That means angle A, B, M is equal to angle P, Q, N. Given the two triangles are similar. Therefore, corresponding angles are equal. And angle B, M, A or A, M, B, anything you can take in it. But the important point is you need to consider angle M equal to angle N. That means M should be in middle. A, M, B angle is equal to angle P, N, Q. This is by construction. Reason, construction. And here also you write the reason. Half into base into height. And now two angles, two corresponding angles of two triangles are equal. Then I can say that the two triangles are similar by angle angle similarity criteria. By which criteria? Angle angle similarity criteria. I can say that the two triangles are similar. If they are similar, if they are similar, we remember a word that is, if they are similar, the corresponding ratios are in proportion. Which ratios we are going to take? I will take AB by PQ, AM by PN. And I don't want third one because only it is a half of this base. So just take only these two sides ratio. AB by AB by PQ is equal to AM by PN. Mark the second equation. Right? Second step also completed. Coming to third step again. Given given triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. Again, if they are similar, the big triangles, if they are similar, what we remember? The ratios are in proportion, corresponding ratios. AB, AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to CA by RP. Mark it third equation. Now again, take the first equation. What is your first equation? Consider. Consider. What is the first equation here? Area of triangle ABC by 
area of triangle PQR is equal to BC by QR into AM by PN. Right? This is only first equation now. Now next step is equal to BC by QR into by second equation what is AM by PN? AB by PQ. Write that reason here from equation 2. Right? And here this is given. And still anything? That's it. These are the reasons. Reasons also we need to write. Now, BC by QR into AB by PQ we got. There you just have a break. So, what you are going to prove for this theorem? Either AB by PQ whole square or BC by QR whole square or CA by RP whole square. You decide. If you want to prove AB by PQ whole square, already you have 1 AB by PQ. BC by QR substitute AB by PQ. In place of BC by QR, look here, in place of BC by QR, substitute AB by PQ. AB by PQ into AB by PQ. That will be AB into AB, AB square, PQ into PQ, PQ square. So total completely I'll write it as whole square. So again write this one. Area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ whole square. That's it. First ratio is proved. So therefore, area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ whole square. Suppose if you want to prove this one, if you want to prove this one or this one. First, if you want to prove this one, look here, either you may change here or you can change here. So if you want to change here, where you need to change? I should get answer BC by QR. So, in place of AB by PQ, from equation 3, AB by PQ is nothing but BC by QR. Write it here. BC by QR into BC by QR is BC by QR whole square. Therefore, hence it is proved. Or, if you want to change here, from third equation, what is AB by PQ? That is nothing but BC by QR whole square. Or, if you want to write... CA by RP whole square, same, you can change here itself from equation 3. AB by PQ is nothing but CA by RP. CA by RP whole square. There itself you can change or here also you can change. So, only one ratio is proved here. So, one more line, you please rewrite this. You please rewrite this line. What is that? Area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR. Is equal to AB by PQ whole square is equal to BC by QR whole square is equal to CA by RP whole square. Right? Three ratios you end up in the last line and then hence it is proved. That's it. Theorem is very simple. So let's have a quick recap of this theorem. The ratio, the ratios of areas of two triangles is equal to Square of ratio of their corresponding sides. Given data. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. To prove area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ whole square. Is equal to BC by QR whole square. Is equal to CA by RP whole square. Construction. What is the construction we have done here? Draw AM perpendicular to BC. Draw PN perpendicular to QR. Proof. Consider the two triangles. Find the area for those. Area of triangle ABC is equal to half into BC into AM. Area of triangle PQR is equal to half into QR into PN. Now divide these two. You are going to get area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC by QR into AM by PN. Here you need to split the ratio. BC by QR into AM by PN. Mark it first equation. Next, consider these two small triangles. ABM and PQN. Angle B is equal to angle Q. Reason given. Two similar triangles corresponding angles are equal. 
angle m is equal to angle n by construction if two corresponding angles of two triangles are equal then the two triangles are similar so write that by angle angle similarity criteria these two triangles are similar if they are similar you can equate the corresponding ratios ab by pq is equal to am by pn mark it second equation next uh, already given two triangles similar right if they are similar all three sides ratios are in proportion write that one only ab by pq is equal to bc by qr is equal to ca by rp mark it third equation now consider again first equation what is that area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr is equal to bc by qr into am by pn in place of am by pn substitute from second equation ab by pq now instead of bc by qr i need to get same ratio so either you may change bc by qr or ab by pq any one you can change so i am changing here from equation 3 bc by qr is equal to ab by pq multiply you are going to get ab by pq whole square similarly similarly area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr is equal to ab by pq whole square is equal to bc by qr whole square is equal to ca by rp whole square compulsory you need to rewrite this line and then say hence it is true then take a paper and write complete theorem neatly and then check yourself with this i am going to end my session and we are going to meet in our next session with next theorem until that keep watching thank you all